Thanks to all of our sponsors for making our Computex 2024 coverage possible. Hey guys, we're here with Bywin at Computex 2024. Now, Bywin is a brand who's just launched into the consumer market. They've actually got years of experience from being an official licensee partner for the likes of Acer, HP, Predator, but now they're launching their brand new consumer range and they've basically split it up into three sections. So we're gonna start with this one over here. We're gonna look at some of the products that they've actually got available. Now, this forms part of their mainstream product range. So they've got pretty much everything you'd expect from a, from a brand who's gonna be offering um, sort of storage solutions. So starting with the simple stuff, we have got our, uh, our small sort of memory cards for you know, different devices, mobile phones, um, you know, all that kind of stuff, gaming uh, consoles like the Nintendo Switch. So we've got the SD card and then the, uh, the micro SD as well. Uh, sort of beyond that, we have got uh, up here the PD2000. This is type C, USB 3.2, Gen 2x2. It's available in capacities one terabyte, two terabyte, and four terabyte. And as you can see, various different colors. Now the cool thing with this is, I mean, they're pretty small. So if you want to put it in your pocket, nice and sort of simple to transport, or if you're a, a lady, maybe you want to put it in your handbag, something like that. Now, beyond that, they have got other products like the, uh, the CU DIMM. This is gonna become a lot more popular with uh, more handheld gaming devices coming on the market that are gonna be utilizing these types of products. Uh, we've also got uh, DDR5 over here as well. So this is, as I say, the mainstream market. So no sort of heat spreader or anything on there, but you're getting capacities of 16 gig or 32 gig and sort of, you know, speeds 4,800 megabytes, uh, megahertz or 5,600 megahertz. Uh, so that's the DDR5 stuff. Uh, that's the micro SD stuff. We've got storage. We've also got a uh, PCI Express 4.0 uh, M.2. So this is the NV7200. Again, capacity is up to four uh, terabytes with sequential read speeds of 7,200 megabytes a second and write speeds up to 6,200 megabytes a second. You're also getting a five year warranty on this. So uh, pretty decent specs. And you know, being part of the mainstream range, this should actually be very, very affordable. Now, if we move down, this is the I'll actually leave this bit for now because this is probably the most exciting part, at least to me. I want to move over to Amber. Now, Amber, if you're into anything like, uh, you know, video production and stuff like that, you're going to be wanting to use something like a CF Express card. So we have the Type A card and then we've also got the larger Type B card. So if like us, you use something like a Blackmagic camera, which does support uh, CF Express, then yeah, you've got that available to you. Now, what we've actually got here, capacities up to one terabyte uh, on both sizes. Uh, what you'll find is you know the the speeds are ever so slightly different so with the type a you've got read speeds up to 1850 megabytes a second write speeds up to 1750 and then with the type b we're talking 3750 megabytes a second and 3300 megabytes a second and the cool thing with these is they actually come with a 10-year warranty so pretty extreme but if you are a professional and you need this type of device for your camera equipment or anything like that then this is going to be perfect for you now this has been a bit of a, a type of device that we keep seeing at the show. So Bywin have got theirs. This is the PM2000. It's type C, USB 3.2, Gen 2 by two. But the really cool thing about it is not only how slim, light and portable it is, but if you have a compatible MagSafe device like an iPhone, it sticks directly to it. So what you'd actually have is it turned around there. You've got the connector on this side, straight into there, and you've got some portable storage. Now with that, that's available up to one terabyte, 2000 megabytes a second read speed, 1800 megabytes a second on the write speed. Again, five year warranty. So I guess, yeah, lifestyle products, kind of professional range, but then we move over to here and this is the stuff that's, you know, in my opinion, the really, really cool highlight of the show. So let's start with the memory because we've actually got three different ones. We've got the HX100 down here, which is uh, essentially uh, no RGB, uh, but yeah, it has a really nice looking heat spreader on there. The fact that it's got this Wukong on there is because this is already available in China, but uh, when it comes to say the Western markets, uh, that's not gonna have that branding on it. Instead, it's just gonna be completely plain. Uh, this is available, 32, uh, 48 gig, 64 gig. So there's different capacities you can get. Speeds at the moment up to 7,200 uh, megahertz. Lifetime warranty, as you'd expect with uh, any good memory brand on the market. Now, as we move up here, you can see we have got the all important RGB. This is the DX100. So with this, again, you've got capacities of 32 gig, 48 gig, 64 gig, and this is available at the moment, uh, speeds up to 8,000 megahertz. 
uh, CL30, CL32, 34, 36, depending on the speed that you're actually going to go for. Uh, this is uh, actually, yeah, the DX, and you can sort of see the name actually comes from the fact that it kind of looks like it's got a bit of an X on it. Now, if we move over to here, we've got something arguably maybe a little bit cleaner with the whole kind of black look, but still incorporating the RGB, and this is the DW100. So again, you've got capacities, 32 gig, 48 gig, 64 gig, and this is available in speeds up to 8200 megahertz. And uh, depending on the speed that you go for, you could get cast latency 30 all the way up to cast latency 40. And again, lifetime warranty as you'd expect from memory. Now, when it comes to the SSDs, they have got quite a good range going on here. So I'm gonna start off with the, the slowest, which is the PCI Express 3.0 drive, available up to two terabytes on this one, speeds of 3,500 megabytes a second on the read and 3,000 megabytes a second on the write speed. Five-year warranty on this as well. Looks really, really nice. I think inside your system, if you know, you've just got it on display in your motherboard, you're gonna see that, and it's gonna look really, really nice, really, really vibrant. Beyond that, they have got the PCI Express 4.0, which is this one here. So this is PCI Express Gen 4x4, uh, up to four terabytes on this one. Uh, speeds obviously increase because it is Gen 4, so you're looking at 7,450 megabytes a second on the, uh, on the read speed and 6,500 megabytes a second on the write speed. Five-year warranty, and again, it's got that really cool, vibrant kind of artwork on the actual uh, the heat spreader paper, I guess you'd call it. Now, if you need even faster, we've got Gen 5. Now, with the Gen 5, this is the X570. So, again, four terabytes, but the speeds on it, we're talking 14,500 megabytes a second on the read and 14,000 megabytes a second on the write speed. So, really, really cool. Obviously, with a drive like this, you are gonna wanna put it under a heat spreader uh, because Gen 5 drives typically do get toasty. And talking about heat spreaders, they've actually got the Gen 4 drive with a heat sink on it. And, of course, it's RGB because, as we all know, RGB makes everything better. Now there is actually one more thing I do want to show you, and it's going back to the memory. Uh, so what Bywin have actually done is they've set up their own OC lab. We have seen this from companies in the past, and it's a good way of you know, really shouting about the products and what they're actually capable of doing. So if we go over here, we can actually see that they've got some systems going on and what they've actually managed to push it to. So if we look at the screen, what we can actually see here is that they are using the uh, DW100, DDR5 memory modules. This is actually an 8200 megahertz kit. But, as you can see, we're not running at 8200 megahertz. We're actually running at 10,000 megahertz, which I know what you're thinking. There's other brands here that are doing exactly the same. People can overclock memory. What's so special about that? This is what's so special about it. Look at the motherboard. This is a $100 motherboard. So while there are other brands, even at Computex, who are running 10,000 megahertz, they're doing it on $800 ROG Extreme motherboards or Aorus Extreme motherboards. This is a simple MSI B650M gaming Wi-Fi. So a $100 motherboard, and they've managed to get it running at 10,000 megahertz, and it's 100% fully stable. And this is kind of the, the whole beauty of the fact that Bywin have got their products going, and now they have their OC lab. I mean, these are the sort of things that, you know, get headlines and you know the things that we write about that they've pushed their memory this far but the fact that they've done it on a $100 motherboard so yeah I think there's lots of uh, good things to come from Bywin and uh, we uh, you know look forward to getting a lot of these products in in the future so that we can review them and maybe see how far we can push them on maybe a, a more expensive motherboard because I'd like to think it could maybe go that little bit further there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Remember, we've got a lot more Computex 2024 coverage, so uh, make sure you subscribe for that. And I'll see you in the next one. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.